Okay, October the 5th. Good uh, 6 a.m. Time to get going. Gonna be a little late to my delivery, but it's all right. Everybody knows about it because of the breakdown yesterday. Um, that's about it. About 300 miles to go. Catch you there. Well, I didn't make my delivery. And they said to reschedule it. So, unfortunately, I failed another mission. So we dropped the trailer off here at the drop lot. And I'm heading out to pick up my next load. It's a preloaded trailer going to Virginia. I'm in a hurry, so I'm just trying to... Here comes the message. Here we are. So, whew, pooped. 16.16. So, I'm trying to get the directions. So, unfortunately, uh, it'll have to be delivered again. But it's funny. Uh, Please drive to highlighted route. This particular load has a kind of a characteristics that it does to the truck. And there were three other trailers here with the same stuff on it. And uh, I wonder if they're all from that customer. They're probably a royal pain in the butt. So, where are we going? We are going... We are going... Out by the airport? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Out by the airport. So, 60 miles away, I'm getting on it. Later. Well, this was a whole lot of fun. So, I got here to the customer. And, uh, <laughs> the guard was like a real dink big time and but no big deal you just put up with him he wouldn't even talk to me until my trailer wheels were slid and the doors were open I'm like wow okay you know you don't need to give me attitude right off the bat you know a sign would have been nice <laughs> um, if there was a sign out there I would have been happy to do it right off the bat before he even went in there but anyhow so he's throws a paper, not really throws, but gives me his paper. He says, your trailer's ready. It's loaded. It's in door uh, 154. And he gave me the trailer number. And he said, park your trailer with the other Swift trailers. Well, there were no Swift trailers here, but so I just picked the spot and dumped it off, whatever. Then he, uh, I come over and I grab the trailer and I'm like, you know, something's kind of weird here because we have a gauge in here that, you know, tells us what the load should be. And according to my info, it's supposed to be 43,547 pounds. And I'm showing nothing. So I'm thinking, well, maybe it was a mistake. It was only supposed to be 4,354 pounds. Whatever. So I pull it out a little bit. Light's green. They said make sure the light was green. Pull it out a little bit. And I start walking back there and some guy comes up. He's like, hey, what are you doing pulling that trailer out? I'm like, this is what I was told to do. It's not loaded. <laughs> They're getting ready to load it and I'm pulling the damn trailer out. I mean, I did all the things. You know, I tapped on it. The whole nine yards. So, apparently they didn't turn the red light on and stuff. Hold on a minute. Any idea what I could do to get out of this place? They will not let me get out. Like, where should, where should I slide them at? Like, because they won't let me because they, they keep... Oh, yeah, you're heavy on the tractor. Light on the trailer, so... Oh, yeah, slide those trailer wheels... I would 
would go all the way. All the way up? Yeah. Really? Because you're 35 on the tractor, you can't be more than 34. Right. But you're 26 on the trailer, yeah, so. Yeah, I've only been driving for almost like eight months, so it's like I'm still learning. I'm like, I never had to do this before. <laughs> Would you happen to have some pliers? I, I got some uh, vice grips. Vice grips here, because I can't seem to get the mine. Here, I'll, I'll come and help you. Okay. Hey, damsel in distress. All right. Boy, she was a cutie pie, having a little trouble with her trailer. I helped her out. Never fear, the men are here to save the day. <laughs> Anyhow, I've totally lost train of my thought, but basically, the forklift guy was right there ready to load my truck. And that was way, way too freaking close. I tell you, this industry, they, we've got to have dock locks out here for everything. This is just BS. The light was totally green. I didn't do anything wrong, but boy, they were ripping mad in there. They couldn't believe it. Not at me, but at the security guard for telling me to come and get this trailer. Uh, that's how mistakes happen. I could have been real fun. I don't know. What type of day I'm having, I'll tell you. It's a full moon. I think it's the harvest moon or the worm moon or whatever. Yep. Oh well. They're going to load me up now and hopefully I'll get out of here. I got three and a half hours. I don't know how much I've worked on my... Oh, they're loading me now. So, in a half hour, I'll be cutting in on my 14-hour clock. I don't know. Let's see. I got a fuel spot coming up. Let's see where far away that is. Maybe I can make it there. Exit 30 on I-65. I don't know how far away that is, but hopefully that'll be home for tonight. Ah! Well, it's only 21 miles. I still might make it home for tonight. Let's see. I have worked... Yeah, I've already worked eight hours today. So I'll get this wrapped up. I'll get to that TA and get parking. I mean, it's Thursday, you know. You don't want to mess around. Oh, man. You should have seen it this morning. I just about couldn't get out of the truck stop. There were so many creative parking people. You know, it's, it's pretty bad, you know. Everybody's got electronic log books now. And, and uh, parking's a premium. And you've got to park early or you're not getting nothing. So, it's like 4 o'clock now. I'll definitely be calling that home for tonight. Hopefully I won't make my load late, but whatever. Talk to y'all later. Alright, I am done for the day. It's been a long one. Well, let me see here. <clears throat> I did 421 miles, man. That's spot on for me and uh, two hours to carry tomorrow tomorrow I got eight hours so you know maybe I'll do nine tomorrow the next day I got nine let's take a little look we got nine Nine and a half, seven and a half, nine and a half, nine, and there's that. Intra trip idle violation. And there's that six. There's that damn six. So, anyhow, doing good. Uh, I thought I'd show you the route.
Indianapolis, across the mountains, to Richmond. And while I have this thing out, <laughs> I thought I'd let you guys check out this driver. <laughs> There's a sight to behold. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, <laughs> looks like a big old guy over there nodding away without a shirt on. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't just go to his uh, sleeper. Yeah, this is one seriously full load. I started out at. Uh, That's not the right one. What happened to the right one? Oh. It was like uh, 78,000. I can carry 80,000. And uh, I just put in 140 gallons. So that would be, yeah, uh, 900 and uh, I would say right around 13, 1400 pounds. So I am maxed out. And I get to go across all that mountains. Interstate 64 has probably got to be the worst road on the east of the Mississippi. I mean, <laughs> it's not a normal truck route. Not many people know about it, but it is seriously up and down, up and down. No way around it. It's going to be fun. And it's going to make me work. <laughs> you know how I feel about work. Catch you guys tomorrow.